The mother of an autistic Kenai girl is arguing with the city about whether or not to let a horse live in her backyard. She claims her daughter needs the animal. KTV 11 Shannon Beller visited their home to find out why. Shannon. Emily Alexis, it's been a long battle between Kim Gerritsen and the city of Kenai. She says she won't stop trying to accomplish what she believes is best for her daughter. Let's get you a cookie. You know you've reached a special level of friendship. Got your cookies. When words aren't necessary. Here it is. You simply feel the support. <laughs> Such is the case between 26-year-old Crystal Barton. Let's give you a Christmas cookie. And 35-year-old Major. Yum, yum. Their connection was instant. Surviving, learning, living, and love unconditionally. He saved me and I saved him. Crystal is autistic. He can be snotty. There you go. It's your ID. Major. Sometimes I call him Major Pain. <laughs> is her official emotional support animal. I love you so much. In case I have problems, or I'm frustrated, or I'm sad, or I'm pure angry, I use major as my way of calming myself quickly. Never have I seen a connection like this. Crystal's mom is quick to tell you her daughter's behavior used to be much worse. She'd have manic episodes and hardly came out of her room. When you watch your daughter go from 23 hours a day in her bedroom to eight or nine, that's substantial. But there is one big problem with all of this. The property is too small. Kenai City Code says Major needs more space, and now the Planning and Zoning Committee says the horse must go. Crystal is worried. I spent a night here just for one night to make sure he was okay. Kim appealed the decision and asked for a conditional use permit. She's waiting for a response. I love my daughter. And as any mother would do, they will do anything and everything to make sure that they have what they need to live a full, productive life. Major is an old horse. Crystal says in their short time together, he's already taught her so much. The last thing he's going to teach me is grief, that it's okay to cry. She prays the city will allow him to spend the rest of his life at home with her. Now we found out late this afternoon that Kim's appeal was granted. Major will be allowed to stay and the city issued a conditional use permit. Though city officials say this story may have ended very differently had the Fair Housing Act not been a factor. I'm good news there, Shannon. Now the Fair Housing Act protects people from discrimination. In this case, it's a disability. That's right, Alexis. When a person with a disability requests an exception to a local zoning ordinance in order to keep an emotional support animal, the, FA, the FHA may require the muni to do so under reasonable circumstances, which is what they found here. Alexis. All right, thanks, Shannon.